Welcome to I Just Watched, I'm Joseph. We're about to discuss The Killer, directed by David Fincher, starring Michael Fassbender, the Netflix original. Spoiler warning, just in case you haven't seen it. So getting into it, first things first, that first 20, 30 minutes was great. If you like that kind of development, with that internal voice just kind of monologuing his life, what he likes, what he hates about it, how detailed it is, little things he has to do, the intricacies, and just the not like you were getting this deep dive into his head, his, this hired assassin, this killer, his head, his perspective on everything, which was great. I liked it. I mean, it's fast bender and I've been a fan since 300 and he carries this movie. It's really him on screen for, if this movie's an hour 30, he's on screen for an hour 31. So it's basically all him. There's other people who show up for a scene, for a fight, for brief moments. And everyone did fine. And I think this movie, after that first 30 minutes, it starts to lose me and the way it develops the story that's being told. Those first 30 minutes are so in-depth and phenomenal just for him to fail at his job. And what killed me was that there's a moment where he's like, if you can afford me, then there's no questions. Like he has that confidence, like dick on the table moment, that BDE. And I was like, oh, he about to murder this dude. And he missed, <laughs> he missed. And it's not, I understand it was the point for, for these events to proceed so that the story could happen. But I was like, wouldn't it have been better like you just, you built this character up so much and I was falling for it. And then he missed. I was like, this boy is wearing fisting gloves for no reason here. He missed. And then we go down the rabbit hole. He missed. So yes, there's repercussions. The client who originally hired him, now he's a loose end. He needs to die. Like, so you go down that thing. They beat the sh living shenanigans out of the woman he loves, who we know nothing of. Technically, this movie's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think there's any visual issues. There's no technical story issues. Everyone who's in it does a great job. Fassbender does great as this cold-blooded killer. His inner monologue was great the whole time. I liked it, but it didn't do anything for me. Like this movie is, I felt the setup we got was so damn good in those first 20, 30 minutes of him just discussing what's about to happen for it to like just meh and then the ending was even more bleh. there's just one moment in the movie that was really good outside of that first initial 30 minutes or 20 minutes it was because of the play of audio the audio design for it was great he's fighting this behemoth of a man especially in comparison and the way they did the audio was great because when he was running towards him it wasn't like doof, doof, it was doof, doof. like it had this depth that he had weight to him when he was moving when he would punch they used the base of it like every time he hit he stomped he moved but just his movement the way he did things and i like that aspect of it they wanted you to feel his perspective of fighting this dude who wasn't just taller than him was like three four times his size just mass this his muscle head basically quote unquote taking the technicality out of it how much did i enjoy not a whole lot. I'm not gonna rewatch this for sure. I'm not really out here trying to tell people to watch it because it was just meh to me. And it sucks because I love the director. I love Fastbender. I think there's the first 20 minutes is great. I think that fight scene and the sound effects and the way they did sound design was great. The rest of the movie to me was just mediocre. It was just bland. I think him as that killer was great because he is cold blooded to a T. There was no effect, no emotion. It was just this needs to be done. And I would have enjoyed more of that aspect if the story to me lined up more, if it was a little bit cleaner, a little bit more crisp. And then the ending just sizzles up. Like there's nothing. He shows up to the dude's house and is like, look, see how easy I got in your house? Next time I'm gonna kill you in a fun, creative way. You'll die slow. And then that's it. And he dips and he's like on the beach with his wife or whatever. And I'm just like, all this for nothing. It was like the first 20 minutes, all that set up for that miss. And then the rest of the movie was all this set up for another miss. So overall, I'm not rewatching it. I wouldn't really recommend it. It was okay. Like the killer didn't slay me. He missed. I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. How'd you feel about it if you have seen it? I do love Fastbender and I think he did great for what was presented. Just not for me. But I want to hear your thoughts. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Y con mucho amor. Adios.